Hi, and thank you for joining us in today's webinar. Today's topic, we will be discussing our language translation for sheets. Let's show you how to set that up. First, we will need to go ahead and make sure that the database, database has languages set up. To do this step, you will want to go to Setup, Miscellaneous, and Edit Languages. The Language Definition screen will pop up. Here is where you can go ahead and add any languages that you would like to be used as a drop down in our edit patient information screen. As you can see, we've already taken this step to go ahead and add some languages. If you have not done this, let's go ahead and show you how to do that. Here is a list of all the languages that we have in Open Dental listed. You'll scroll down to go ahead and find the language that you would like. You will highlight and then click Add. Looks like I've already added this language. If you don't find the language that you would like to add, you have the ability to customize. Here in custom, you'll type the language that you would like to add and then click the add button. It will then show as a listed language to be used by patients. You can also reorder how these show in that dropdown. Let's go ahead and click OK, and now OK. To set a language for a patient, you'll want to go ahead and go to Family Module and Edit Patient Information Screen. Here, you can see that we have Spanish already set for this patient. Now, let's set up the sheet. To do that, we will go to Setup, Sheets. Our Sheet Depths window comes up. I'm going to be on the custom side. And today, I'm going to go ahead and edit my N2O consent form. I'm going to double click into that consent form. And here is my N2O consent. To add a new language sheet, we now see that we have a language drop down here on the right hand side. Right now it says default. My default is English. So now we want to go ahead and click Add New. And we want to select the language that we want to go ahead and translate to. Today I'm going to show you how to do the Spanish as I have a Spanish translation. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but there was a slight flash. We have now, in essence, created a second sheet for this N2O consent, which I can now toggle between the Spanish and the default, my default being English. Let's go back to the Spanish sheet so that I can go ahead and translate that. With this new language translation tool, it creates a new sheet for you to be able to translate that sheet. So you will have to take the time to do the translation. Unfortunately, we're just not there yet. I do already have that sheet translated. So let me go ahead and grab a copy of that. And now let's edit the Spanish one. So I'm going to go ahead, double click. Take this out, paste my translation, which is in Spanish, and click OK. Anything that has been edited on the second language sheet will show in red so that you know that that has been edited. This is all that I need to edit on this sheet. So now I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. We will close from here. I want to add this sheet to my patient, Teresa. She is going to have some nitrous consent uh, and she needs to sign that. So let's go chart, consent, the end to consent. And remember, she already has Spanish listed. So when I click on this, it's going to choose 
the Spanish sheet because we have her with Spanish as her preferred language. This is our new tool, Language Translations for Cheats. I hope you enjoyed this webinar. Have a good day.